Okay, so here is the fridge, and I'm just gonna show you kind of the, again, a before how it looks. I do need to clean it out before we go to the store. But basically, I feel like we did pretty good. So we have some milk that is still technically okay, but I'm like really weird about old milk, so I'll probably dump that. And then um, some mayonnaise, which we still have quite a bit, but I think we're gonna pick up another one um, whenever we go to Costco. Matt still has some of this Myoplex protein shakes left. Uh, he's gonna use those up, and then uh, we're gonna switch over full time to the uh, Premier protein shakes from Costco. Also have some yogurt down there that I got for Connor, and then nothing over there. Again, I need to clean all this off. That's just some leftover uh, chicken Alfredo, and then some eggs, and then just for produce, uh, we have some of this uh, lettuce that I bought for tacos, but I totally screwed up our taco night, and um, I'll mention that later on in another video. Also have this lemon that's kind of gross, I'll toss that. And then one um, red onion, again I need to clean all of this, so it's kind of icky. And then I still have quite a bit of stuff down here. I did buy this from Costco a few days ago whenever they were having their um, sale on the uh, Premier Protein Shakes. So this was on uh, sale as well. It was only $6 for how many pounds? Uh, two pounds, 2.06 pounds of turkey breast. So I got that for lunges because I thought that was a great deal. We also have some bacon back there, uh, some, let's see, one stick or technically two sticks of Kerrygold butter, <laughs> a, uh, little mozzarella stick, kind of a little guy by himself. Also have some more turkey meat and then some tortillas. And then I still need to make a pecan pie. This is left over from Christmas. So I need to use that up and then a little bit of cheese. So that is all that is left in our refrigerator. Still have quite a bit of this stuff that we need to use up, but I feel like we did pretty good um, as far as refrigerator stuff. This is how I like to see it. Um, but maybe this being a little bit more bare. So that's what I'll work on next month. Down here is the freezer. And let's see, definitely not a lot going on in here. So I still have some frozen peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for Connor's lunches. This is um, some leftover taco soup, which I was not a fan of. Um, I didn't like it very much. Also have some tear tops left, some vanilla ice cream. This is really dirty, so I need to clean all this. But this is my um, lemon and vinegar uh, garbage disposal cleaners. And then nothing over here except for some ice packs for our um, lunches. Okay, so moving on to the pantry. As you can see, we still have some food left, but um, it definitely is more empty than it was at the beginning of the month. But my goal is, and I've said this before, is that every month I want to try to clear off the shelves as much as possible. So I know it's not totally possible, like with stuff down there as far as like baking stuff, but like canned goods, like dry pantry type foods, things like that. Um, I'm also gonna probably buy one of those um, organizational like uh, spice racks for the back of the um, pantry right here. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. Uh, Cause this is not a very big pantry, so I need some more space in here. But I guess starting off up here, uh, again, pretty bare. I just have a little bit of white bread left, some barbecue sauce, some chipotle mayo. That is for the um, Philly cheesesteak sliders I normally make. I just have an extra one. And then over here, I have some walnuts that I bought just like for some brownies and then some leftover pecans from the holidays. Um, again, I'm gonna make a pecan pie, try to use those up. Down here, I have some um, oatmeal that I just need to I never eat oatmeal. I, this has been in here for months. I probably just need to give it away. Um, also a box of like dirty rice mix. I have some corn tortillas left. We still have this, um, what is this, brown sugar and spice ham glaze. We still have our ham from uh, Christmas. We never made it because a family member brought over um, a ham. So we never made ours. So, which is great because now we have it, but we still need to use it up. Um, here are just some empty containers. I usually put food in. Back here I have some breadcrumbs, a whole box of macaroni and cheese, or a whole package I mean, some milk chocolate chips, some peanut butter, and I know that this pantry needs work. I have not done anything to it since moving in, so excuse like the, it needs to be repainted and I want to have like a new system, uh, system in here, but it works for now. Down here I have some corn as well as some green beans that we have got to use up. I have a lot of corn. I bought a whole thing of it from Costco and we still had some 
from a while back. And then back there, it's just like some um, just random stuff. Like I think that's turnip greens. We have some beans. Um, stuff we never made the chili last month uh, that was on the meal plan, so I still have stuff for that, um, which we'll probably make at some point this month for like lunches. Um, just some more beans, some spam that Matt bought one day, some cream of mushroom soup, and then down here, this is this is kind of the shelf that doesn't really get used that much because it's all like baking stuff, oils, um, like some you know syrup that we I mean we never really have pancakes or anything like that. Um, and so I probably should move this down there. That makes the most sense. Ugh. See, I just need to work on that. <laughs> and then down here, we still have some chips left, like Cheetos and Fritos and things like that. This basket is always like this. It just has extra little um, sauce packets and like cocoa powder um, or like for hot cocoa and things like that. And then we just have some soda in there. We, we really don't drink soda that much, but um, we still have a few cans left over from the holidays, so I'll probably just move that in the fridge and we'll consume those at some point. But again, here is the four, and I'll take you out to the garage and you can see the freezer next. Okay, so now we're out in the garage. Let me just show you our freezer. Yeah, it's pretty empty. So I have a loaf of bread. I actually need to go ahead and take that out for some sandwiches. And then uh, these uh, chicken shish kebabs that um, I had on the meal plan last month, but we just never made it. I don't know what happened to that night and why we didn't make it, but you know, it's in the freezer, so it's good to go for another meal. And then I have that ham left over from Christmas that I mentioned earlier that we um, never got a chance to make. So it's like a pretty, pretty big size ham. Let's see, almost 10 pounds, 10 pound ham. So um, I just want to kind of take a break from like Christmas ham uh, meals just because we just got off the holiday season. So I'll make that in the next few months. And then here is a bunch of meat. So we have some chicken thighs, some uh, ground turkey, some drumsticks, and then one um, chicken breast. I actually just made an order with uh, Zacon Fresh for 40 pounds of chicken breast and then 40 pounds of ground beef. So I'm really excited about that, but I need to uh, we need to use up this meat so we can um, have the freezer space. And I'll leave my link down below if you uh, want to create an account and order through them. Their deals on their meat just seem almost unbelievable, so I'm really excited to try them out. But again, here is the before for the freezer. Okay, so here's the fridge all full after my grocery hauls. I guess I'll start off down here in this big cheese drawer. So I have the Kerrygold butter over here, the Philadelphia cream cheese, some uh, sausage, um, like breakfast sausage for some breakfast tacos, and then just some deli meat, some shredded cheese, then there's some sliced cheese. So kind of what you guys already saw. Nicely put away in this drawer. And then in my um, like vegetable and uh, fruit drawers, I have some strawberries. So I have this onion. I mean, it's so good. So I'm just leaving it in there in case I need it. And then so I have several onions actually. And I have some tomatoes, grapes, celery. Again, just all the stuff that you saw from the grocery haul, all kind of crammed in there. So there alrighty. And uh, obviously, some stuff won't fit in there. So I have the spinach, some cucumbers, and then back there I have the uh, chicken from Costco that I still need to shred up. And yeah, so you just kind of see how I have it all kind of crammed in there. Hopefully this will start um, looking more bare here in the next few weeks. In my uh, freezer space out in the garage, I have plenty of room in here for um, just kind of the overflow of stuff. Just ice cream, frozen peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, frozen veggies, kind of all over the place. It's not very organized, but you get the picture. Okay, so here's everything all put away in the pantry, and I don't think <laughs> that I can fit anything else in here. Oh my gosh, seriously, it is like completely maxed out. I really need to work on um, a better system for in here. Like I mentioned in, uh, earlier in the video, I want to get one of those, um, like I, I call them a spice rack, but you know, you can put basically anything you want. It's just a better, um, or it's just more additional storage on the wall. And I do really want to, at some point, take out these shelves and just put something else in here. Cause like there should be a shelf, at least right here. Um, and I appreciate that they're, you know, this is really high up, but you know, even this can go up a little bit, but anyway, uh, so here it is and I'll just start here at the very bottom 
uh, to the best of my ability, kind of show you what I did. So there are the fruit drinks, the protein shakes, the chocolate milk, a whole bunch of potato chips. Like, ugh, this is for lunches and um, just mainly lunches. So that is pretty full. Here is the formula for the twins. And then again, this little basket. That, and then, oh gosh, let me get back down here. So I didn't really show you a close up earlier um, of this um, shelf, but like back here, for example, is some chocolate chips. That's rice, uh, sugar, flour, cocoa powder. I have these little containers that have milk chocolate chips. And this one back here has dark chocolate. This is the stuff for that cake I was uh, telling you about. Well, actually, I mentioned this in my grocery haul. I'm going to be making a uh, campfire cake for Connor's uh, bl uh, blue and gold banquet. So I needed some stuff for that. So that's just what that is. Powdered sugar, um, like oils and stuff back there. They don't really use a ton. Brown sugar. This is Heath candy. I put this in our chocolate lava cake sometime. And then over here is all the canned goods. So corn, peas, uh, pinto beans. There's a whole bunch of uh, like veggies and stuff like corn and uh, green beans back there. Stuff for chili, just your typical um, stuff as far as like uh, canned goods. I put all of the pecans in this uh, container. I loved <laughs> taking stuff from like original packaging and putting it in my own for some reason. I just, I don't know, I feel like it's more organized when I do it that way. Here's just a whole bunch of stuff. Just everything, kind of more pantry items, um, sauces, our little hot and spicy bowls, taco kit, just uh, everything. Cereal back there, salsa, and then up here, you can't see half of it, but like, tortilla chips and then the regular potato chips um, behind it and then the uh, trail mix that I got at Costco is behind this. Fruit snacks, goldfish, coffee, <laughs> uh, cereal, crackers, Cheez-Its. Yeah, so pretty full. So that is the after for the pantry. Okay, so everything is in the deep freezer now. Um, starting off up here, it's just a bunch of bread. A lot of you guys ask me about freezing bread. You totally can. Um, I didn't know about it until a few years ago and then someone shared that with me and it's kind of been a game changer for us because I can buy you know, as much bread as I want really and freeze it. A lot of times what I do with hamburger buns is I will put the entire, you know, package in here like you see here. And then whenever we're having dinner, I just come out and take out three or four hamburger buns and just leave the rest in here and then let it thaw um, out on the countertop, whatever it is that we need for that evening. So there's no waste. Um, so I have the hamburger buns, the sandwich um, uh, bread, and then some French bread right there. And then down here I have uh, some meat, so I just have some chicken nuggets, some wings, and then those um, little shish kebabs down there. And then ground beef, which I am so excited for my uh, Zaycon Fresh order because I have been paying way too much for ground beef apparently. $5 a pound, I just got it for like $3.19 a pound. Very excited. Um, also here is the hamburger patties. And then down here I have the chicken egg rolls that I got at Costco and I'm super excited about those because they tasted super, super good whenever I had a little sample. So can't wait to bust into those. And then here are our backup frozen pizzas. And uh, that's about the same. I think I don't, I don't think I changed anything. So that's just some extra meat that we need to use up this month. I have a small freezer, but it was free and I appreciate it. So uh, I think that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.